सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक वंस कैन एंड इन टू डेज वीडियो आई एम गो नॉट टॉक अबाउट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंटरेस्टिंग एक्सटेंशन एंड येस वन ऑफ द मोस्ट पावरफुल एक्सटेंशन दैट यू कैन गो एंड डाउनलोड एंड एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑन स्टेबल डिफ्यूजन ऑटोमेटिक वन 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 सो इन टू डेज वीडियो आई एम गो नॉट टॉक अबाउट कंट्रोल नेट एक्सटेंशन एज यू कैन सी ओवर ईयर दिस इज द एक्सटेंशन दैट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट एंड येस डेफिनेटली इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंटरेस्टिंग एक्सटेंशन एंड येस अमेजिंग एक्सटेंशन दैट यू कैन गो एंड इंस्टॉल एंड एक्सपेरिमेंट विद सो बेसिकली इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गो नॉट टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू इंस्टॉल दिस कंट्रोल नेट extension and how to use this extension basically there are total of 8 models going on in this extension that you need to download and yes i'm going to make a detailed video about all of this model and yes each of the models works totally different so i'm going to make a detailed video about it later but yes in this video i'm just going to talk about how to install this extension and how to use this extension so in order to install control net extension the first thing you need to do is that install the libraries of control net extension so in order to install libraries you just need to go on to your stable diffusion folders as you can see over here i'm already on stable diffusion folder and just type cmd over here on top of this search bar and just press enter after pressing enter the command window will open and in this command window you just need to type pip install open cv python so after typing pip install open cv hyphen python just press enter and it will install the libraries one error that i found while installing this library was that i was using older version of pip so in order to like upgrade your pip version then let me tell you how to upgrade pip as well so in order to upgrade pip just go on to like search bar and go on to your command prompt open your command prompt after clicking on to command prompt just type this over here py hyphen m pip install hyphen hyphen upgrade pip so after typing this just press enter and it will automatically upgrade your pip as you can see over here my pip is already upgraded on like 23.0 so i was using older version of pip so yes this was the only error that i found while installing this libraries so don't worry if you want to like install then yes just upgrade your pip so after upgrading your like pip just come on to over here and type pip install open cv hyphen python and yes this will automatically install these libraries as well so after installing these libraries just come on to your stable diffusion and just go on to extension after going on to extension go on to install from url and just paste this url this url will be already on the description so after pasting your url click on to install and after installing just come on to over here and see if it's installed or not so this is the extension that already installed on my pc so if you find it over here just apply and restart your ui so this is how you install your extension first of all locally and then after installing your extension just go on to like this web page and and you need to download all of this model as you can see over here there are total of like 8 models going on and each of the models are of like 5.71 gb let me tell you each of the models work totally differently so you need to download every one so download each of the models it's of like 5.7 gb each and it will like consume 41 to like 42 gb of data i think so so after downloading all of this model just come on to your stable diffusion folder as you can see over here i'm already on stable diffusion folder just go on to extension and in extension you will see like control net extension over here just click on control net extension click on models and just paste all of the models on this folder as you can see over here i have already pasted all of this model over here and as you can see i have already installed all of the models you can see over here that are total of 8 models going on that's how you install all of this extension and model and yes as i said already that each of the models work totally differently and i will make a different video and yeah in depth video about how all of this model work so have patience and let's see how this works first of all so in order to work with this extension the first thing you need to do is that you need to upload any of the image that you want to convert as you can see over here i was already converting one of this image as you can see i was converting this puppies into like kittens amazing result going on and you just need to type what you need to convert and one of the best thing about control net extension is that you can work it on like any of the models and yes i was just working on with like dreamlike diffusion model as you can see you can use any of the models that's one of the best thing about control 
control net extension so this is how you use it just upload one of the pic over here and just type your prompt just come down and make sure that you select the exact resolution of your image as you can see i'm using like 768 by 512 and yes you can mess with this setting as well image to image setting as well so this work with this extension as well you can see there's an extension over here so in order to work with this you need to enable this extension over here and scribble mode yeah i can definitely go on to like this mode as well as yes and there is a special scribble model as also going on over here so this option i will make a video later on a detailed video later on when i will be making a video on like scribble model as well so for this i will just check it uncheck over here and one thing is for sure that control net uses high vram graphic cards so if you are having 8 gb or below graphic card just check this i have checked this because my vram is very low so just i've just checked this i'm, I'm using on this so the next thing is preprocessor and model so what is preprocessor and model preprocessor and model are basically linked together so there are a total of 10 preprocessors going on over here and total of eight models that are we have already downloaded so there are total of two open post preprocessors and two scribble preprocessors so there are total of 10 preprocessors and like eight models so let me tell you how to use this so if you are using like a canny model just select canny preprocessors over here similar to that if you are using like that model just select that preprocessor over here so i will go into dip in the next video when i will be making like depth video on like each of the models so for now you just need to understand that you need to select like if you select canny model just select canny processor preprocessor over here that's how it works and the next thing is just weight over here you can see this is weight going on and what is weight weight is just how much weight it is using of these models okay so basically this is the weight on how much on how much weight it want to use of these models and the next thing you can see over here resize mode going or your and you can just select just resize and then next thing is that canvas width and canvas height so just keep this canvas width and canvas height just similar to like what image you are using you can see over here 768 by 512 so just keep it as it is 768 by 512 just similar to like your init image that you are using so now guys basically let me tell you how control net works let me tell you one thing let me remind you one thing each of the models on like control net works totally differently so today i was just using canny model and yes let me remind you once again in this video i'm not going on to deep onto any model i will make a depth video about it later on but i will just explain you how it works as you can see over here this was the image that i was converting you can see over here the result i was just converting this image into like kitten and you can see the result are pretty much amazing and pretty much accurate and highly detailed as well so basically what it does is that canny model just traces out like so it traces out like this image first of all it traces out this image and depend on this traces it will convert your image into like kittens based on like this traces so that's why it's so accurate and it's so amazing to use so like it's totally a game changing going on over here with this control net extension i can definitely say that so basically that canny model just convert into the traces and let me once again tell you let me remind you each of the model works totally differently and i'm gonna make a different video about this as well and what if i just convert into like chipmunks let's see chipmunk let, let's try chipmunks and let's try to generate this as well okay let's try to generate chipmunk and let's see what result do we get so guys this is the result that we got with like chipmunks and as you can see over here pretty amazing result going on so yes definitely i can say this is a very good extension to go and experiment with your like images that you have generated and yes definitely as i said earlier each of the models that are used in like control net extension each of the model works totally differently on like different purposes as well so that's why i said i will go and make a depth video about each of the models as well and till then yes i just wanted to let you know how to install this model and how to work with this model is it it interesting and like amazing extension to go and work on with definitely i can say that this is a game changing extension you can go and install that yeah you need to go and install this extension so that's it for today and i hope so you guys like this video i will go on deep into each of the models and yes that's it for today that's how you install this extension and that's how you work with this extension so i will definitely make a depth video about each of the extension till then have a good day bye guys love you all guys and yeah see you soon guys bye guys love you all guys bye guys